So, hello, momsies, popsies, and of course, mga kaguru. And to all the students out there, hello, hello, hello. So, welcome to our channel. Okay, so it's me, Teacher Gracie Jane, where you can learn more and share more. Okay, so now, uh, sa mga bago po sa ating YouTube channel, please consider me subscribe. It's me, Teacher Gracie Jane 28, or you can search Gracie Jane El Camparo. Okay. So now, uh, for today's video, ipapakita ko po sa inyo kung paano ba gumawa ng study notebook. No? And take note, it doesn't mean na pag study notebook, notebook lang po talaga ang pwede nyo gawin. So, you have an option. You can either encode it or write down in your notebook. Okay, but for me, I have here, so since tapos na po ako sa aking um, Moodle, and of course, with my lockmates, so, na-print na po namin. Okay, and of course, sharing of ideas, sharing of thoughts about the course. So, ayan, na-print ko na po ang aking Moodle. So, complete po ito from Moodle 1 to 3A, 3B, 4, and 5. So, complete po ang ating uh, LDM or Learning Delivery Modality course. Okay, so let's start. So now, but before that one, I'm going to show you uh, the dipped order. No? Okay, so this is the dipped uh, order number 35 series of 2016 signed by Brother Armin A. Loestropo, our secretary for the Department of Education. So, meaning, this order means that the learning option cell as AK212 basic education program, school-based continuing professional development strategy for the improvement of teaching and learning. So, ito po. So, ang laman ko nito ay okay. I think na bigyan na po ang lahat ng schools para po sa kanilang relaxation. And included it here is the functions, different functions of the leader, the facilitator, the documenter, and of course, the member. So, ayan po ang napaloob po sa dipid order na po ito. Okay. So, you can read that one. Okay. This is the template for lock plan. Ayan po. So, ang dami po. Ayan po ito. Terms, amen for the lock participants. So, up to our main topic about how to make a study notebook okay, in our learning delivery modalities to course. Okay. So, let's have first module 1 meaning a course orientation. Okay. Okay. In a module 1 course orientation, we also have module objective. Okay, for module 1, learning delivery modalities course for teachers. So, ito po ang daman nila. Ayan. So, for module course orientation, so, ayan po, welcome po tayo. Okay, welcome to learning delivery modality course 2. So, we have the module objective. For my output, okay. and take note, you can uh, make your own cover page for your uh, study notebook. And we, I would like also to thank my classmates, led by Mangan Habali, facilitator, Rian Sumogi, documenter, uh, Analo Inar, and of the members for sharing their output, for sharing your knowledge in connection with this course and of course the lab session. Okay, thank you so much. Credit also to the, the answers given and of course sharing with this. So again, ito po ang laman ng ating module 1 for our study. Okay, for lesson 1 course overview, 
we have, we need also to read the LDM course yung pong pinakita ko po sa inyo kanina. So, reflect on the overview by answering the following questions. Write down your insight in your study notebook. So, ito po, again, ito po ang study notebook. Dubling trabaho na po kasi pag ikaw pa ay nagsusulat sa iyong uh, notebook. And, again, encode na naman ninyo and how about kung may editan? So, edit na naman kayo. So, why not encode it directly? Okay. And you can uh, save it into PDF file. And yan po, sa description box, ilalagay ko po ang aking link for my YT channel and how to save uh, PDF file na save mo na sa Microsoft. Okay. So, going back, ito po, activity 2, answer the following question by copying and filling out the table in your study notebook. So, ito po. Actually, you need to answer in module 1 uh, more on in your personal insight. Galing, of course, sa inyong so, because we teachers, what we want is to continue the education for us to give a quality education to our learners. Sorry, pag, sorry sa and aside from that, uh, we need also to, to continue education. It is because needed talaga education. So we need also to continue the love and passion education. Okay. Then we also have lesson two, organizing your learning action cell. Okay, po ang question niya. And here, of course, you need to have a proof that your group your uh, lock profile is included. Okay, of course, it should have done less than 2 but more than 15 members. So, as for our lock mates, our group, lock session group, we have 2, 4, 6, mind-blowing. But at the same time, ang, ang importante dito is na uh, kung ano yung mga uh, new setup in line with each game. So, ayan. Ito po ang mga functions and rules of the different members in the lab session. So, ayan po. Ito po ang uh, lahat ang nakapaloob ng module 1 meaning uh, it talks about the course overview and the course orientation. So, first, ano lang yun, konti lang, but what uh, this course is needed is your willingness and your love and passion mo para sa teaching. Uh, description box, ilalagay ko po ang um, link para maeditan nyo po itong study notebook. Okay, you can edit and you can download the link na ilalagay ko po sa description box. Okay. So, I hope may natutunan po sa binahagi po natin itong sa learning delivery modalities course. Okay. So, module 1 lang po yun ha. And if you notice, ang dami na po niya words na Okay. So, as I've said, you need to write it in We will now proceed to our uh, learning delivery modalities course 2, which is module 2. And again, this is my study notebook. Okay. So, in our module 2, so we'll continue this. And sa mga baguhan po sa ating video, please consider me subscribe. Our last topic is we talk about module one in our study notebook for the learning delivery modality course two or LT1. So for module two, it is the most essential learning competencies or LT. So in our for last year, ang ginamit po natin yung school year and for this uh, school year we have 
M L S or MELDS. Okay. Most essential learning competencies. So for this module, so po ang objective natin. By the end of this module, you will be able to explain the background and development of MELDS, unpack the MELDS, combine related competencies into learning objectives. guide natin last year and at the same time now which is MELX yun po ang babasihan natin okay so for module content we have background rationale and development of MELX unpacking and combining MELX into learning objectives last session so simulated time required to be okay so again you can do cover page in your Okay, for lesson 1, background, rationale, and development of notes. So, for activity 1, question dito is answer the following reflective questions in your study. So, the closure of schools around the world due to the global pandemic. And then, of course, kung ang saan siya doon mataas na. Okay, so ayan po, nilagay po natin ang ating answer. Okay, as I said, you can download the link na ilalagay ko po sa description box for different videos and I hope makatulong na rin. Okay, sorry kung makingay yung aso namin. Okay, then we also have activity number 2. Ayan po. Then for activity pay to go. So prepare a copy of your learning areas or original K-12 curriculum guide and corresponding list of emails Go to the section of the curriculum guide and tells that are relevant to your instruction. Okay, copy and accomplish the copy. So here, for K-12 learning competencies, and the urge are clustered, so just refer to your K-12 curriculum guide and milks, of course, with your subject. So, ano po yung na-retain? Ano po yung na-drop? Again, for this, merge clustered and retain and up. Ayan po. And of course, this one. Stated here that discuss and share your answers to activities 1 to 3 in this lesson. Discuss any questions about the MELS that need clarification as well. So, dito po na ibahagi po namin ng pag-share ng aming mga answers and kudos and credit to all my luckmates na nagbigay po ng mga answers. And of course, the rest of the, 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 the people behind na nakunan po namin ng mga sagot. Okay. So, for lesson 2, unpacking and combining milks into learning objectives. Ito po. Kailangan po nating uh, i-combine at i-unpack yung mga clear path forward ng ating milks. Of course, with your subject. For PE kasi ay once a week po yung PE kasi namin. And another group discussion and deliberation about the course. So, I think ito lang po sa module 2. Okay. So, if, so, I think yun lang po ang sa module 2 natin and later for the module 3. And if you have questions or clarification about the given topic in connection with LDM course, please uh, comment nyo lang sa baba. And again, I will put the link para ma-download nyo po ang mga module na na-share po natin. Of course, with the answer key. Okay, so I hope may natutunan po and if meron po, please consider to subscribe and like and if you want to share, please do so. So that's it for this video and abangan nyo po ang, ad, ang iba pang video tutorial natin in connection with this new normal setup. Especially, we need to continue education. So long, ito ko nilay. So God bless everyone. Keep safe and have a good day. Thank you for watching.
watching. Okay?